you already know what I'm gonna say. Fantastic. I loved it. It was great. Unexpected in some parts, like the all the villains coming back. Lawar being like, I'm not. This is just a, a thing because, I mean, we don't want the world to go. We live here too. But it is another example of people knowing, the people of the show knowing what Superman and Metropolis were really about. When it came down to it, they had his back, enemy or not, to try to save this place. I even kind of respect Amanda Waller. Standing ten toes down, willing to fight. Even if she do wrong to get to what she believes to be good. I kind I respect her staying there and fighting. Lex, he ran. and I mean, that makes sense too, but... But uh, skipping ahead a bit. Seeing him and, what, and Slade together, now that Amanda is gone and out of the picture... And seeing the bags on the uh, uh, Lex's eyes. Yeah, we're going to get that bald head, I'm pretty sure. Maybe out of stress, but deviousness is coming. Amanda's out of the way. She's calling for a team. They never show back up for her. You don't see what the other two are, but I'm guessing they're going to be doing their own thing. Going to be... Criminals, it's gonna be a mainstay and come back doing their own thing, and the um, organization that Amanda was talking to was probably gonna get involved in the next season because it's been green lit, green lit for the third season. I didn't see they didn't leave any uh, like preview for what might come next. I'm guessing because. They weren't greenlit until after the show, after they already probably made all 10 episodes. I hope next season they get more episodes. If they get just 10, we already see they know how to work it. People might not like every episode, but I enjoyed the, the whole season. Like the down episodes, still had connections. Like, and I think that's. Like a good thing for shows like these, not every episode has to be like super story driven. But also, I think in a way most episodes should be, but slip in between in the right places, the right time to have just episode that, I don't know, focus on characters or just let us do something that ain't super major so that the major stuff can hit hard. But this episode was fantastic with that. Just seeing that the Inter Gang come back got some like kind of upgrades. And Lawire was back in the suit, but it was upgraded. She ain't had the same hair. Uh, but to see, like, yeah, they are in Kryptonian tech. So, yes, the Kryptonian keeping things consistent is going to affect them. And. Just seeing everyone work together, Lois' father coming back. Uh, they probably could have focused on him talking to uh, uh, Lois, but he was at that picnic at the end. And then, but the thing with Kara, the animation really picked up when it came down to Kara and Clark just having to go at it and emotions, especially in the in the faces, the way the art really wrapped up when it got to the emotional beast when Clark was really feeling down. But then they let him go through the clouds and show what Superman is truly about. Fighting through the hard things. But also him being like, trying not to hurt her. Because that's not what this is about. And then Brainiac just being in her head, trying to beat her down, gaslight her. And thinking that she is nothing without him essentially. But just to see how far they would go and fight and how much they were trying to bring her back and then did and then her doing, I'm guessing, uh, I think what she did is the wind breath, essentially, not a tornado, but the wind breath, which I don't think Clark has done in the show, if I remember correctly. 
But that was nice. She unlocked something new. And it was the one of the things he's done, I don't think. So, that was uh, cool. He, I mean, he did Ice Breath, but that's not the same thing as the Wind Breath that they can do. And But the fight with Brainiac and him, he's going to tag and just beating them down, but they keep coming back. And the scenes with the sun was so beautiful. And then Brainiac was really not willing to go down. And to find out that, yes, it was him that destroyed Krypton. Sometimes it happens where it's done on purpose or it's just the planet. But no, he did that because they was going to shut him down. Because they was talking about peace, which would mean he would be useless without war. And he was built for war, so it's understandable. But to see that even after the defeat, you can see that Kara still care about Brainiac, holding on to that peace. And that peace being brought back to Earth is off. But that's going to come back into play. We already know. Because the fact that Clark brought it back with her, and she ain't destroyed it. So you can tell she's still, still something there. But then Clark and Lois rekindling their relationship because everything's out now and her staying in and like like she was saying she want to be her self and her first self here with the man she loves and also it was just sweet to see Clark and Carla play catch like he did as a kid and just can't wait to see what they do next season we got a few things set up Carl has her new seat suit now. She's helping out. So, I can't wait to see what they do. Because I've enjoyed these two seasons. They've done some great work. And they truly understand the character of Superman. And I like the story they've done with Supergirl and this new take. And I think, you know, with like anything, this probably might get incorporated in the comics at some point. I mean, Carla ends up dating Brainiac in the future in storyline, so Brainiac 5. But, you know, if they incorporated this, Carla and her relationship with Brainiac, I think that would be interesting. All in all, fantastic finale. Can't wait till the show comes back. Team did a great job. The voice acting, actors too, fantastic. The writing. Well, that's my review.